This is going to be a boring episode. Hey, welcome back to Woods Creek Workshop. My name is Yuchul. Today, we're going to make some boring bar sleeves. To hold these boring bars onto boring bar holder. But before we get started, I'm really behind on mail call, so let me quickly go over what I received. Metalworks Machine Shop from Doug Lester. Dudley Toolwright, he has a great channel. Thank you. And Tom from Hilltop Machine Works. He sent me the big one and the little one. Flathead Ron. I already actually had Ron's sticker. And Jim Deadman sent me his famous no spill cutting fluid cup. He has a channel called Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. He's a real nice guy. This was a surprise. And AIDS Workshop all the way from the other side of the pond. He is, he's got a cool channel. He makes some fun stuff with his uh, lathe in his shop. And I think he's uh, planning on expanding his shop. And Jim Chrissy, he is one of the admins of the YouTube Machinist group on Facebook. He just sent me a ton of stickers from Australia, nonetheless. Uh, four machines for tools. Oops. Four machines for tools. Of course, who doesn't know a bomb seventy nine. Uh, I got some duplicate Shark River machines. Uh, really cool. Tin Barn Time. I already had Active Adam. Oh yeah, Backyard Machine Shop. Uh, JB from Oz. I haven't checked him out yet, but I'm going to for sure. And Gem Truck, that's Bruce over there. So I really appreciate it for uh, sending me all these uh, from Australia. Another thing that I'm really excited about is my new channel logo slash stickers. I've been sending these out in the mail to some of the fellow YouTubers and posted on Facebook, but I haven't debuted uh, the design on my channel yet. So here it is. I'll uh, enclose a bigger uh, picture so you can get a good idea. But uh, let me show you how I'm uh, displaying all these new stickers. I got myself a poster board. This way I can mount on the wall and move, move around the shop if I need to. Let's take a quick look at how your boring bar holder works for your typical quick change tool post. This particular one has an opening to hold uh, three quarter inch boring bars and as you can see there is a sleeve the sleeve has been machined both inside and outside and slitted inside there are two pieces the bolt and mating piece that has uh, an angle that's machined to it. So when you tighten that second piece draws this sleeve close and squeezes it. Now the tw uh, boring bars I have are half inch, 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter and the smallest being the 7 millimeter. I'm going to make a sleeve that fits inside this rather than the diameter of the tool holder. The main reason for that is given how this um, mechanism works it is likely that every time I tighten this piece will leave uh, uh, will mar the surface of that sleeve and over time I'm afraid it's going to make it challenging to uh, put the sleeve in and out of the tool holder. That way, this sleeve 
takes all of that um, abuse from tightening and loosening and will leave the internal bore nice and clean for the sleeve to go in and out. And I'll just leave the sleeves attached to the boring bars so when I swap them out they just move as a sub-assembly. A center drill the metal so we can run a center that's why they call it center drill oh <laughs> who knew <laughs> who knew slow it down a bit to B E F let's go with that This is a new life center I got using it uh, for the first time. It's the CNC type they call it. It's got a elongated pointier nose uh, versus my other one that I use. I just couldn't get the tools, uh, cutting tools cl uh, closer to the diameter there. So I broke down and got it. It's from Shars. Um, I think it needs to be broken a bit and loosen up that grease so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we gotta take quarter inch off the diameter. Actually, let's slow that down a bit. We'll see if it gives us a better cut. Oh, nope, too slow, wrong. breaking chips versus long springy bird nest. Let me get it down to the diameter and I'll bring you back. Yeah, that'll be a good good fit. Yep. Put chamfer at the end. Okay, let's drill out the hole. 
We'll start with something smaller. All right, let's see. Yep, that'll work. Let's quickly uh, chamfer the end. Square that up. Okay. The length does not have to be precise. It's just it needs to be as wide as the tool holder. Uh, I think, you know, which is one and a half. Let's see here. So somewhere around there. I think, well, let's make it a little longer so we can uh, part and then have a little meat to clean off. Let's see where we are at. B E F. Let's see. Let's a little slow. C D.
Okay, let's clean up the other edge. We're going to drill and tap some holes for the set screws to clamp the boring bar into these sleeves. This is a top follower that I built using Dudley Toolwright's plans. Be sure to check out his channel. Now I have to do a few more of those. I won't bore you with me drilling and tapping all those holes so I'll bring you back once I get uh, get those done. Next I'm gonna uh, machine a flat spot on top of the sleeve towards the end. 
uh, that'll I'm gonna use that to help me register the boring bar at right angle um, whenever I install it I can just use that flat spot make sure it's parallel to the tool post and I can ensure that I have the right um, rake Seems I made some critical design errors. Let me show you. So here are the two sleeves that worked out well. You notice how these are small diameter bore boring bars. When I went to drill and tap, tap the holes for this uh, 12 millimeter boring bar, there just wasn't enough meat left for the set screw to uh, grab onto and provide that uh, tightening force needed. So for the 12 millimeter and half inch boring bars, I'm gonna have to make a bigger, have to make uh, bigger sleeves that are one inch diameter that fits directly into the tool post. Sometimes that's how it goes. Okay, so I repeated the same process to make the additional sizes to, to uh, fit my other boring bars. Um, I apparently had a design uh, flaw in my design and ended up losing one because this was for uh, 12 millimeters and there just wasn't enough meat left for the set screw to uh, go in um, I would have had to trim off that set screw quite a bit and there just wouldn't have been much left so good idea poor execution but um, these turned out alright uh, Ten. Uh, this one is for 7 millimeters it's got 1032 screws and this is a, I said a 7 millimeter yeah and this is a 10 millimeter uh, 10 uh, 24 uh, set screws again and as you can see I milled flat spot on top to help align with the tool holder that way I have the right geometry but as far as a 12 millimeters and half inch boring bars I actually had to go up to one inch diameter sleeves and not use the sleeve that came with the tool holder so it would go in directly and be clamped on that so um, and these have quarter 20 set screws. It would be pretty rigid. So I want to blue these so they don't rust. So I'll take it over there and shoot them with the brake cleaner. Get all the grease off and we'll come back. I cleaned with brake cleaner and uh, dried it with air dried. To make sure there are no uh, grease.
This is Brownell's Oxbow Blue in liquid form. We'll let it sit a little bit. It says wipe down with a cotton swab. Allow 60 seconds without drying and wipe off excess. I've always had good luck with uh, this brown now, Oxford Blue. I'm gonna let it sit a bit and then apply a second coat. You don't have to apply a second coat, but I just do. I don't know, just always been something that I've done. Last thing I do is apply a thin coat of oil and it really brings that brings up that shine on these parts. Okay, so they're done. The three quarter inch boring bar uh, from Precision Matthews will fit through the sleeve and into the holder. The half inch and 12 millimeters will fit directly into the bore. And the 10 millimeters and seven millimeters will use the sleeve. Um, I don't know if it was a good idea to make these as a small and use the sleeve versus just going with one inch diameter. I don't know, I'm experimenting so if it doesn't, it turns out to be a hassle, I'll just make new ones with a one, one inch diameter uh, OD sleeve. So it was fun. Um, I should be able to use this with my other boring bars that I got as well and uh, it's one of those things that I needed to do uh, waited too long so thank you I appreciate you joining me please like and subscribe thanks for watching